Hello everyone! Today we will be taking a look and reviewing portfolio sites submitted by none other than you guys. I have quite a number of sites here that I want to get through. I don't know if we'll get through all of them, but we'll get through quite a few. And there are three main categories I'm going to be scoring all of these on. And the first category is going to be hireability. Hireability is essentially whether or not a recruiter can take 10 to 20 seconds, look at your site and have a good idea of who you are and what you do. A recruiter is looking at your resume. Usually they have thousands of applications, so they'll be looking at it for probably around 10 to 20 seconds max. Aesthetic as a category is pretty much whether or not the site looks good, is it pleasing to the eye, is it overwhelming, or does it maintain a nice sense of UX and direction? Creativity is going to be whether or not you have sort of done something unique or something a bit far from the average site without actually taking away from the site itself. Um, so can you fundamentally execute well on what a good portfolio site looks like? And was it done in a way that doesn't impede the actual fundamentals of the site itself. Totaling all of these up, they will have a total score of around 30, uh, 10 for each category. The first one we have is from Enrique. The first thing I'm going to see here, like my eye immediately goes to like the name, the face, and then like all these random like underlines. Uh, so I'm not too big of a fan of the underlines. Also, this stuff like, okay, you're a Python developer with experience with web development data tools. It doesn't give me that big of an idea of who you actually are. Chances are, if I'm viewing this portfolio site, you've already applied to a, a job that requires like Python or data analytics. And, you know, one of the requirements might be that you're a computer science graduate. Contact, okay. I don't really like sites that have these contact me pages. Number one, I think the contrast of this color is a bit too hard to read on this. I think it's sort of a waste. I'd rather have just like an email where a recruiter can email you instead of sending these messages. If I was a recruiter, I'd want to just probably send an email or send you a link to something uh, without this. Overall, I think it's like for having a website, it it gets like the job done. Hireability, I'd say like maybe a five. It doesn't give you much more information than I feel like you would get your resume or like applying to a job. Total score is going to be a 16 out of 30. Cool. Full stock engineer and YouTuber. Oh, dude, we have another YouTuber here. It's also kind of interesting. You have more socials at the bottom here when you already had socials at the top. I would say you have so much unused horizontal space. If you put like social links on the right side and you had it scroll as you scroll, that would be cool. Overall, I think this feels like extremely cool. It's like simple it's clean it's easy to read it gives me more information about what you do outside of like what a resume or a job application would do in terms of hireability i think this like if i saw this and i was a recruiter or i was an engineer looking at your thing this would actively within 10 to 20 seconds of looking at this increase my odds of hiring you 100 uh, i'm gonna go ahead and give this like an, a nine the only thing that i think could be improved is i would like to know a couple more things about you where are you based in what is your work history how long have you been doing this these are some things that i know i could probably get from your resume and stuff like that but uh just as like a one-time glance thing even if you had like a little location pin somewhere of like what country you're in um, maybe what like uh, I know you're a full stack engineer, but maybe like how long you've been doing it. What companies have you worked in in the past? That would be extremely helpful. Also, a link to your uh, LinkedIn so I can get that information easier as well. I would give you a nine. It's just missing some small things like that. And in terms of aesthetic, it's minimal, beautiful, easy to navigate through. Everything sort of looks the same, so it's kind of hard to d distinguish between like what is a personal project, what technologies did you use to build some of these, how long did you work on them, when did you work on them, when did you create them, how long have you been working on these things. I wish there was a bit more information about some of these instead of just linking straight to them. Overall for aesthetic, I'm going to give this an eight. I'm going to go ahead and give this like probably a seven on creativity as well. So right off the bat, the image feels low quality. If you could possibly just like get a better picture, a better higher resolution picture, prop it up here and make it bigger. I think it would like heavily increase the production value of this site. Undergraduate student about me. Okay. I don't think anyone's like going to take the time to really read this. I think this real estate, when somebody first comes to this site is going to be really important. I think a high quality picture would look nice. Replacing all of this stuff here with something that's easy to read, easy to understand, and actually conveys more about what you do is a way better use of space uh, than this. Because the first thing I'm doing when I come to the site is I'm like, okay, this is nice. Look at the picture. Look at this. And then I'm scrolling down because I don't want to read this, any of this stuff. It's very hard to read this text on the background, um, which is arguably one of the most important things I can read here is like the technologies you used and for how long. The, the biggest thing that stands out here just from contrast on the eyes is like this like pink text. And this pink text, it has the u most useless information, which is like where you did this thing. 99.99% of people that are looking at your site aren't going to know where this is, what this is, and they're probably not going to care. Sort of trying to use color to create a hierarchy in terms of information is probably uh, a good thing 
amazing if you use it properly, but I think it's sort of uh, backfiring here. I'm gonna give this probably like maybe a six for higher ability. For aesthetic, I'm gonna give this a six as well. Great overall first impression, but then the more you dig into it, the sort of less like useful it actually is. I'm gonna give this maybe like also like maybe a 5.5. Resume.4leaves.studio. That's an interesting URL. Whoa, lots happening here. I'm a passionate software developer with a knack for solving complex problems with over three years of experience. All of this stuff, let's say the recruiter does take the time to sit here and read this. Anyone can say all this stuff. Like it doesn't, I don't know if it really helps your case, if that makes sense. Imagine from, from our perspective as developers, right? You see a recruiter post a job posting and the first like two paragraphs, like we're looking for a rock star coder who can come up with innovative solutions and all these other like buzzwords. You sort of just like skip past those, right? You don't like read that stuff. You're like, okay, what technologies do they use? And what do we actually want to like, what are they actually looking for? Like, where's the job? You look for those key pieces of information. Recruiters, they get around 10 times the amount of like information sent to them than you do as a developer when you're looking and applying the jobs. So all of this stuff, most likely gonna get just like overlooked. So I would highly recommend the first thing somebody sees when they go onto your site is like prime real estate. You have to use that in the most powerful way possible. Okay, I like that you uh, highlighted the technologies you use for these. So like, it's easy to understand, but like if I'm looking specifically for those things, it'd be nicer if these were just like chips or tags or something like that. When I click the blog thing, it takes you to a Rick roll. Wait, wait, what? When I click this, it takes you to, it like literally Rick rolls you. All right, that, that, not gonna lie, that sort of loses points. If I'm a recruiter and I like click blog and that happened, I'm like not hiring you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never seen someone make a portfolio site that is targeted towards HR recruiters, but they have a button that Rick rolls the HR recruiter. Higher ability, I'm putting this on as a four, maybe a three. Honestly, a three just for that Rickroll. It would have been a four, but I'm giving it a three. Aesthetic, it's like a six. We're gonna leave this at a 14. Ooh, yeah, this feels smooth. It's like smooth in a way where like a lot of the times people will misuse animations in the sense that like they'll have some grandiose animation that makes the actual site hard to navigate through. But this one, it's like, it, it it's like nice and visually pleasing, but it doesn't take anything away from it, which I enjoy. You're in high school and you built this? This is awesome. Dude, the fact that you're doing stuff like this in high school and you're caring about this type of stuff is like better than most of the people I graduated with at my university. I think it's creative. I love like this sort of like layout. It shows that you have an eye for UX. I'm gonna put this as like a seven for creativity. Yes, so seven, seven, seven. Overall, pretty good, well-rounded uh, site. But is it just me or is this like, the like thing on the top has that like weird box shadow where only half of it. It's like sort of like, like it feels weird. Like I didn't like load the full site in or something. Embark on a journey through pixels and possibilities. What did you use to make any of these? What's this gonna do? Okay, you have a full, what am I looking at here? Is this a site or is this still part of the portfolio site? Connect wallet? Why does this guy's portfolio website have the ability to connect my crypto wallet? What am I doing on this site? Is, oh, maybe he's trying to like show that he's able to, code a connect wallet like functionality or something like that i'm so confused i'm so confused is this a portfolio site is this a SaaS, or is he trying to like sell us something or is he like making documentation for this i'm like beyond confused this looks like i'm trying to buy an apple watch and you're showing me all the features but did he code this or is this part of the documentation of the technology he used to code something but i i have no idea what's going on it has the the wallet connect logo at the bottom but like, I don't think he made it. He definitely didn't. Make it. No, no, no. He, no, no, no. There's no way. But what? How did he? Are these docs open source and he just hosted it on his portfolio site or something? Bro's trying to scam the recruiter. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe he's just the guy that created it, right? Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like he's the guy that created it. I can't get over how nice that UI looks. Like, I, I need to find this. Higher ability, this is like a one. The only reason it gets a one and not a zero is because maybe a recruiter might stumble upon this and accidentally think he created Web3 Mobile and be really impressed by it. This makes me more confused about him than if I was just reading his resume. This, I think this actually hurts his odds at getting a job if I was a recruiter. Creativity. Creativity, if you're using somebody else's, like, stuff like a like a two honestly Th this is wild uh, maybe look i want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt maybe i just don't understand what this guy was going for maybe i have no idea what is happening here and, and this guy did create all this stuff or like 
he's using a template. He left in some stuff and it's not fully done yet. But in its current state, from what I am able to understand, I'm giving this a 6 out of 30. Ooh, that was nice. Look at that. I like that, how it opened up right there. It's like quick enough to the point where it didn't delay me from reading the information I needed, but also like aesthetic enough to feel cool. Wait, it just goes up and down. I th I, I really thought I was about to scroll down and embark on like the, the journey of a lifetime here. Wait, why do you need cookie? Why do you have a cookie policy for a personal website? Okay, interesting. This language dropdown doesn't work until you accept the cookie policy. If I didn't accept the cookie policy, this this dropdown would just be unusable. I'm confused as to why the website scrolls at all, if this is all that's on it. Intro. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. This is a cool picture. I wish there was like a way to easy, more easily navigate through all this. Jesus Christ, this is like a long scroll. But also like, it's just too much text. Why is there a devil emoji here? Sometimes I play with other sexy languages and framework too, purple devil emoji. I feel like the important stuff, which is like what you did and for how long you did is like quite literally the smallest part of this page. Okay, where's the next section? About? What is the difference between about and intro? This almost feels like a Tinder profile more than it feels like an actual portfolio page. I'm not gonna lie. Every single link has a cool new photo of him. And I'm not bashing the photos. I think like they look pretty badass if you ask me. It's extremely hard to find any information about his actual work experience. And I know I said like the initial anima animation, by the way, like felt nice because it didn't like impact the actual usability of the site. But like this, these animations do. Like this takes way too long to open this. Like I'm actively getting frustrated clicking X and then sitting here to wait like five minutes before I can open the next thing. I actually get like, like Tinder vibes from, from this guy's portfolio site, dude. Sometimes I play with other sexy languages and frameworks too, devil emoji. I don't know if this is a great portfolio site. I just went through this whole entire portfolio site. I feel like I know nothing more about him, even though I just spent five minutes on this site. Six is probably like where it's at um, for a total score of 15. Okay, so first of all, creativity is already like, like a nine or a 10, cause this is like insane. This is like insane. I love the small details here, like the, the code and stuff like that on the computer, like a show. This is by far one of the most creative personal sites I've ever seen in my life. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of time it took you to put something like this. This is like insanity. Like all the small details, reenacting your room. There's a resume over there in the corner, I'm gonna try and take one. If you click R, you literally like take the resume and it downloads it for you. I know it's running on a browser, so it's hard to make it like high fidelity. It is a bit laggy, but honestly, all the information you actually need, all the vital information is here. Your like name, where you're based in, what your work experience is, what skills, and then some flavor on top of it. It might be like the only problem I could see here is that the recruiter might look at this and have no idea what is going on. Creativity, this one's like a nine, a 9.5. Why not a 10? I think 10 has to be like, this is the most like insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I have to like just drop everything and the stream and be like, nothing could ever top this type of thing. This guy literally made a portfolio website that resembles the matrix. That's gonna be like the intro for the, the TikTok short. The background is literally fully the matrix and everything here is matrix themed. You have classified projects where you hover over them and it shows you a screenshot of the project itself. Whenever you hover over an actual header, it like uses the matrix effects on the text. This is wild. The creativity involved in this one is pretty impressive. In terms of actual usability, in terms of actual like, is the recruiter gonna look at this and like find this impressive or is it gonna help your higher ability? It's probably not that high. If I didn't randomly hover over this image, I might not have realized that you could even like hover over the image to like view it. My head has to literally go from like one side to the next to uh, to like read some of the text on here. So it's probably like a three just because it's so hard to like use this site to like learn anything about you. This guy submitted Sonic Simulator. Honestly, if you submit the, dude, if you can show me Mike, Mr. Mike Mayer, dude, if you can show me a job application you've submitted or a resume you've submitted where you have included this in your resume, like this is the site you've included in your resume, dude. I I'm giving, I'm like changing the score for this one. I will change your score to all tens, if you can show me that you have in the past actually submitted a resume and actually submitted this website, had a recruiter actually look at this. This is wild. Okay, okay. I love the aesthetic already. I love this like gradient. Oh man, 
This is already looking really nice. Content back in mobile and cloud. I wish like I knew which one you did the most in. My name, I'm your digital partner. I think this is useless. I'd much rather know like what you specifically specialize in or what country you're based in if I'm hiring. Front end, back end, mobile, cloud. You sort of like added everything there. Like which one do you specialize in? This sort of almost feels more like a SaaS landing page than it feels like a portfolio site. UI, UX, and SEO. Full stack, CI, CD, and cloud. See, you're sort of confusing me here because I want to hire a specialist who's a front end developer or a full stack developer that knows specific technologies. If you say you know every technology in every language, it makes me feel like the thing I want you to do, you know, less of. Your branding is on point. I really like your branding. Here's exactly why you should not be a generalist on your resume. If you are hiring somebody to like do your gardening, you're not going to want someone's resume where they do gardening, but they also do plumbing and they also do electrical and they also install ceiling fans and they also like do lighting and they also do everything else. You want the person that's an expert at gardening, not the person that might be a jack of all trades who's mediocre at gardening and also mediocre at everything else. Be a specialist. It is a lot better if you are a specialist on your resume. Recruiters will lean into you way more than if you aren't. Overall, I think this site, the aesthetic is beautiful. It's easy to read. It's easy to get through. The UX is amazing. All right, now we have the next one. What was that? That was like a, like a, I know there's some company that does something similar to this. I can't remember what. Whoa, dude. Oh, these are like the Figma. These are like the Figma things, right? Wait, are you a designer or a developer? You're both. Interesting. Whoa, these are clickable. What the hell? This is kind of cracked. This is one of like the coolest UIs I've ever seen on a personal site. You like remade Figma inside the website and all of these are like clickable. Like I can hover over this with an amazing effect and it actually takes me somewhere. This is literally the Apple loading thing, right? Like I'm not a fan of all the jargon. I'm not saying you wrote this with ChatGPT, but the first thing I see when I see this is either like product managers that use buzzwords or like some guy that got ChatGPT to write this, even though you probably didn't get ChatGPT to write this. Whoa. Look at this. The mouse changes depending on which quadrant of like the site you're in. This is so much attention to detail. It's like actually beautiful. Yo, does this actually work? That's cracked. Hey, this is actually useful, dude. You know, every time I want to convert a file PNG to WebP, I go to one of these like really shitty websites that makes me like watch an ad or like it's like impossible to like upload a file and stuff like that. But dude, you've actually created something that's like really nice to use. I know we're trying to like review your portfolio site, but this is an actual useful site, my guy. You have a, it's open source. I'm sorry, I need to fork this before you make this private. I need to have something like this because like it is such a big pain point to try and convert files and I hate using those websites. I'm just gonna host one of my own now and use it. Thank you for this. I know like, I don't like when people say they're a designer and a web developer, but you have delivered on like all fronts here. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the hireability part is like, I don't enjoy a lot of these uh, like sort of buzzwordy type of things. So I'm gonna go ahead for hireability. I'm gonna give this an eight. This is really good. Actually, probably a nine. It's one of those cases where the site itself speaks to your skill as a developer which is rare. Um, aesthetic, dude, this is like a nine as well. This is like a 9.5 for aesthetic. Out of the 17, I think this is probably my favorite. I'm gonna make this like our like streamer favorite of the day. And I'm gonna create a poll and I'll let you guys vote on what, your, what you think your favorite one. You know how Product Hunt has those badges that you can put on your website and stuff like that uh, to like display like, oh my God, we were product of the day and stuff like that. Maybe eventually, <laughs> We'll have like badges for like, oh yeah, you guys were like the fan favorite of the day for like your sites and stuff like that. And then like uh, eventually maybe we can like, after I do like five of these types of streams, we can have like a battle royale where we take the best sites and do like a big bracket and like compare them to each other. Honestly, this site is so good that I hope some recruiter out there sees you and honestly offers you a job based on just your portfolio site alone. This is insane. I will be going over even more in the next stream. Thank you guys for watching. I will try to stream more consistently, probably around three times a week, and I'll try and get a preset time on YouTube so that the stream happens every single time at a consistent amount of time. And I'll see you guys in the next stream.